Hello everybody and welcome back, I think, to Dragon Age Veilguard, where I realized I'd actually forgotten to put in my other dangly. I only put in the one for the last episode, so that's cool. And I'm trying to drink water, and now I'm like, is it like smearing the face paint? I think I put the paint too close to my mouth. I'm gonna need to like move it. You never want to touch your face until like you can't touch your face, and then you're like, oh my gosh, oh, I want to touch it so bad. Have I already smeared it? Okay, I think we're good to go. I can't go any further. You can't just like slam A all the time. You start jumping. A clue? Just a hunch. So one day when we maybe don't have Neve with us and we need to use her ability, we can be like, I'm gonna use this dagger. Hmm. And you like scratch your chin with it and you're like, I'm gonna utilize Neve's power of observation with my dagger. You I'm know? on it. Relic. Oh. Courtyard. Back way. What was that? It's a remnant. An echo from the Fade drawn to magical disruptions. If the relic drew it here, the voice could be a memory of the smuggler. Courtyard's quiet, fewer eyes. So you cut through here, where there's a path to the market. Follow me. So you, so she, whoever that person was, um, was stealing a relic from the Chantry? Or trying to sell it to the Chantry? You know? Enchantment on the entrance. Let me in. It. Oh god, come on. Here goes nothing. Let me in. I wanna see All right. I wanna me. see the iconography. If they are you know, cowards. I took this job. It's on me. And the Venatory cult's no joke. If anyone oh, wants you get this job on the house. Alright, mage killer. Suit yourself. So interesting. We might have some interesting banter between the like different people. You know what I mean? The threads took care. The threads what? They keep trouble away. You've got to give them that. They fought a demon, but now what do you owe them? They said it was a favor. Just pay on time. <laughs> and they're all just rolling. So were you guys like just attacked, or is this like a day or two past the city being attacked, like? Wide, you, you know. think he's acting different? Yeah, I don't know. With demons loose, everyone's jumpy, right? Who's acting different? What's this? Oh, oh hey, not lore though. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Listen, I get it. You guys are in pain. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh! Lucanus, can you... <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Lucanus, there's a thing here. I mean, it looks like I can probably get down there later, but... I would like to be able to do something with it now. The relic was close. Find another remnant and we might learn more. Okay. Did you guys see someone running past like demons were chasing them? Horses. Working our jobs is hard. One day you're moving crates. The next you're watching over a pack of donkeys. These are definitely horses, but, you know, nice try. A for effort, you know? Up there. Is that another remnant? That should be no what, problem. What, what? There's always a way to get places. Yeah, I mean, I, I would trust... Too many people in this to, I would trust... You haven't dealt with crowds in a while. No. You need a lot of targets for the Venatori. Um... I would trust a crow to be able to get around a city, and he's been here, so like he's he knows what, you know. I'm sure he knows how to get around across the rooftops. But it is interesting for a crow to not be comfortable in crowds because they have to be able to hide in the crowds, you know. So he would be having a hard time. Hey, any news? Navgalas, are you after the demons? I'm after a few things. Yeah. 
You got anything? Heard some people talking. I think one was a Venatori. I didn't get a good look. I took off before they saw me. Smart move. Stay safe. She's so loud because I'm standing like right on top of her. Ooh, paintings and stuff. Oh my gosh, you see the cover? Hang on, hang on. The cover? That's it. The soul must express blah, 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 blah. itself through shh, 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 shh. Don't you This think? is the cover of the Stolen Throne? No, the Stolen Throne's a different one. This is a cover of the one with um, Celine and Briala in it. This is Celine's Rise to Power, one of the novels. Uh, that's a gorgeous painting. I would really love that in real life. Could we get that in real life? Um, yes. I could get that one. The masked paintings, tapestries, masked empire. floor coverings, beautify any space. Masked empire, I believe, is the name of the book. Yeah, but you don't have any decor. <gasps> you see that? That person just like shoulder checked this person. Oh my gosh, the plateware. Anyone strange poking around the market? Besides you? You mean more than <laughs> usual? Actually, maybe. The smuggler who supplies Miro, she's acting weird. Took off though. Couldn't tell you where. Got it. A lot on display. Nice target for thieves. If a stand's not watched, there's a nasty spell on the most valuable item. And a random one, just for fun. Ugh, of course. You'd have to pay for that though, you know what I'm saying? Also, it is so odd to hear Lucanas, I keep thinking Zevrad's behind me. I know it's like they, they sound different, but like like Zevran's voice is a little higher, I think. Like not like higher, I don't know, less gravelly? I don't know, smoother maybe. Hey there. Hi. My shot's pretty new, <gasps> but I've got armor, clothing. Come, take a look. <laughs> hey, hi there. That was funny. I could get bull. I'm gonna get bull. It's probably silly. I should probably wait until I actually have a good relationship with the people in the town. But. Teehee! I like new things. Is this the way I'm. Yeah. I'm bouncing around. Here you go. Coin spare? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Maseranis. Maser. Demons <gasps> in the streets. Maseranis! Can you get somewhere safe? Yeah. I got somewhere. Thanks. That was Elvin. Maseranis. So it looks like maybe the better relationship you have with each faction, um, the more of the city you can explore, which is nice. Like, I'm assuming, anyway, that those locked Almost doors... There. Remnants maybe ahead. they're, um... I mean, maybe it's just, like, you complete quests in the city, but I think that it helps you with the factions of each place, so... Vinrathis is just as uh, unwelcoming as I thought it would be. Like, or I'm welcoming, like, designed architecture, you know? Holy cow! What? Are they, like, hiding that? Or is that, like, that's Venatori, that's Venatori stuff. They're just, they're not even hiding that. They're like, we're over here. Bing, bing, bing. Nothing else tells me that the Venatori oper op operate with impunity here like that. I've got this. Everywhere else they try to hide. Bells ring when ships go in and out. Could be using them for timing near the docks. I think our smugglers on a deadline. The relics pull agrees. Let's visit the docks. So should I just like yeet myself down there? No. Okay. I was going to. But I'm sure. Don't worry. Don't mind me, guards. Elevators locked. Someone forgot to bribe the dockmaster. Still up for a walk? This isn't the only way to. All the right, docks. no, that's good. Let's go over here. Nope, okay. I'll follow you. Food later. Oh, yes, please. I think she does a good show. Oh, that's a good show. All right, then we'll meet there. Friendly encounters. All right, through here. This looks even more intimidating. Got it. It's susceptible. The locking mechanism is susceptible to frost. Were we supposed to? Is that illegal for us to do? You know, like. 
I'm guessing you know all the shortcuts in Dogtown. All its secrets? <laughs> no. No! If someone thinks they know all Dogtown secrets, they're either kidding themselves or scamming you. Ha 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 ha, no. New armor or weapon. Common heavy armor. Ooh! I like it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So far, there's not been a miss on the armor that I'm wearing, except for the very starting armor, but we were trying to blend in. Trying to be inconspicuous. Now I can be as conspicuous as I want. They were back asking questions. Wanted to know what relics I'd seen on the black market. You think it's for blood magic? Blood I magic? Rumors. I am tired. I'm sure. I got a bad feeling. Yeah. Like, I'm not that tired, but Come I'm on. yawning. This like, path will swing I'm like, la la la, and then I'm like, but it. My sister went to a rock um, fossil festival type thing. She got a really cool red, like a bright red, like quartz prism looking thing. Um, died, obviously, you know. Um, like, made to be that way. Um, but I saw it and I was immediately like, red lyrium. <laughs> I was like, don't do it! She already bought it, but I was like, don't buy the red lyrium relic! But I'm like, hey, um, could you could you buy one for me if you ever see one again? <laughs> I want some. And it'd be fun to be like, oh, what's that? I'm like, red lyrium. You know? I was like, oh no, I forgot, I forgot. More demons. Not for long. Not for long. Yikes! Nice! Now's your chance. There is an ability that you can get where you do more damage, I think. Oh. If you, um. If you, like, jump on a downed target, I might have to get that. Stay in cover! <laughs> oh, it's so fun. The longer that relic And it is fun more, that um these are my neighbors. That relic won't stay in my town. It is fun to like actually have to time it. You know, I'm not, I can't just like spam Y, like I have to time it right. Um for the uh for like the, the tossing thing and everything. At least I, it seems like I have to oh my God, I keep pressing Y to jump. Whoa! This city hasn't changed. You spent time mm -hmm. here? Before, yes. For a while, though not in. That's not where the Venatori live. Oh, you got the fancy targets. I'm very expensive. <laughs> I mean, you know, what? This looks like something you could jump off of and land. Like, I. Yeah, you want me to go that way, but I'm going to look this way. Demons, by the supplies. Huh? I'm going to run away, and not without bruises. Thread runner. Told me to take the night off. Streets aren't safe tonight. You think he's gonna tell the boss? Turn out. Dan. Oh, lore. There are more of us in them. Bring the light. Classic. Classic rebellion. Verbiage. Oh, what's down here? I am going. Let me in. Again, some of this stuff might be stuff that I'm actually going to see later. That I would have a reason to come to later. There's ice coming out of there. But I don't know that, so I'm going to look around. Thank you. Don't mind me just appreciating you. Being fancy. Oh, okay, you guys just let- oh! Hang on, nope, down. Down. You got it. Okay, gonna take down the barrier. Okay. Nothing. I mean, I know it's like, uh, I- uh, oops, I can do it again. You obviously get to, um... Woo-woo! Woo! Uh, you obviously could use the dagger to do this, but it's just funny that these two are the ones that have been the most useful, and I happen to have them. 
The threads aren't the only racket in town. When word spreads, the coin will come to me. Demons take one look at me and run. Uh huh. A tidy arrangement. And who's going to argue with me then? Not sure why the demons want to cut. No gold in the fate is there, but insist. Whatever. I'm in control. A an actual demon. A demon wants. Was this protection rocket run by a yeah, demon? Yeah, what? Every third person runs a scam here. Guess the demon wants it in. Don't give spider. Yeah. Oh, God. He's like, it's like, a, like, a, like, a, like a Yorkshire Terrier or a Chihuahua nipping at his heels, you know? Um, I agreed, demon. I could see you wanting gold, you know? Oh, what is this? Corvid calling mask? I mean, it's a cool design, uh, but I'm not wearing it. A tavern. Benatori, you're serious? Cult's getting bold again. Yeah, I mean, there's a giant Venatori thing just down the way. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, that's a Kirkwall one. Few barrels survived the Kirkwall Rebellion, but this one, this bottle, this is bottled from one of them. Permanently boosts all damage by 1%. These are all things that are useful, and I should get them eventually, but I'm running a little low Always on money. A pleasure to serve. I love this outfit. Thank, this very nice outfit. Very nice, very nice. Home sweet home. Enjoying the tour? Yeah, totes. I'm just mad that I didn't get to see any iconography in the Chantry Temple, and I'm really upset that they were like, I don't know, cowardly about that? Like, let me see, like, does, we're going to Tevinter, where it has a se totally separate Chantry belief. Like, let me see what their, like, what their, like, you know, em embossed scriptures are on the walls, and like, the, the iconography they use, like, what they, what they communicate via, like, you know, glass stained windows or statuary, you know? The stories associated with them. They would have a whole other, like, potentially series of, like, myths or whatever, you know? Working on this game for ten years, I don't get to get that for my first step in a freaking Tevinter Chantry. Uh, maybe I'll get to see more later, but... At We're this closer. rate, I don't know. Usual orders to sell when the dock master and Damas leave the charm shipment tonight. I'll still pay full. People are asking weird questions and there's demons loose. Just get home. I would think Tevinter would have a lot of plans in place for how to deal with demons. You know? It's got to be more of an issue here. But, like, also they don't... They don't cut themselves off at the knees, right? By by being like, magic bad! And then the only time magic breaks loose is when it does go bad, you know? They're like, magic is fine and normal. Uh, and like when it's more in the open, it can be more regulated, you know? Okay, fine. I'll go down here first. I'm assuming I'll go back up here, which I might be upset about <laughs> assuming later. Whee! Let me up. Oh, Neve was just already here. She's like, please stop running around. Sure thing. Soon. The buyer. Meeting. Right. A meeting, but where? There's a health. The trail's starting to fray. Yeah. We. Wrong turn. Nice relic. Shouldn't it belong to the Venator? Why would, Not a chance. Why would it do that? Take a shot. I'm trying, but in a weird spot. Oh. Looks like we have company. Again, more? There is a chest back there I should be able to open. Is everyone all right? I... Nev, you're back in the city. Templarana Savas. Don't say you missed Oh! Her. <laughs> I wasn't going to. Really? Because I heard there's a relic loose. With Red Lyrium? How do you... Never mind. You can't say. You never can. Rook, meet my friend Rana. At least I think we're friends. A Templar and a mage. Yes. And Rook, if you're with Nev, I take it I can trust you? As much as I can trust you. Look at that. On the same page Oh, already. okay, nice. If you have anything on the relic. I thought Templars worked against mages. This isn't the South. I work to stop illegal magic, that's all. You're working the case alone? Not if you help. 
There's a rumor so, yes. the relic trades hands tonight, and Albin Bataris is the buyer. A match to Sun. Interesting. I should get moving. Nev. Yeah, I think these two, these two have a history. Like, mm-hmm. I get the feeling you two have stories. <sighs> and they all start like this. With me annoying you? Harsh, but fair. Look, you're busy. We just got attacked, which means you won't leave until you're sure no one else is lurking around. <sighs> and you won't wait. What can I say? Work to do. Where are you going? For a walk to the spillway. I'll catch up when I'm done. If you say so. <laughs> I like that, though. I like that dynamic. Our trail is frayed, but the spillway is our best yeah, bet. Yeah, where did Let's go. the... Oh, can I talk to you? I'll make sure there's no one else here. Okay, bye-bye. I saw a chest over here. Common mall. Sure, we can switch up to that. I'm not using those right now. Maybe there will come a time when I want to use them. Yeah? You know? I really enjoy. It. Anytime I can use my my shield as an actual weapon, I am I am down. I'm I'm very happy with that. Rana's not a shadow dragon. So you work with Templars too? Ron is clean and her information's good. The rest? Only when I have mm. to. And the spillway? Rana mentioned Alvin Bataris. And she doesn't share rumors unless they're likely. Alvin's father oversaw some construction there. If he's visiting this part of town, that narrows the search. Okay. Oh yeah, gee whiz, I wonder if it's the giant venatory glowing beacon of light over there. A barrier. They don't want people getting near the deal. Find the How? unshielded crystals and we're through. What? It's supposed this is but this isn't just like a venatory thing that's like, you know, it's its own separate thing that we're like, hmm, yes, I wonder. They put a giant beacon up pointing exactly where they're doing a secret deal. Ah. Questions. The Venatori aren't known for being smart, though. That's one down. That's it. We can cut through the barrier now. Don't mind me. Just getting infected with red lyrium. We need to keep moving. Oh, I have my ultimate. Voices. There's someone up ahead. Alvin Bataris. Your relic. Gods rise and power with them. For the glory of Tevinto reborn. Alvin's our buyer. And a Venatori. Sounds like the cult is working for the gods. I wonder if the um, the elven gods. You're supposed to wait. Just a taste of that power. I wonder if the elven gods are gonna be like, oh yeah, we're totally the like, like are they gonna tell us? Because there's always been the, the question of whether the Tevinter old gods and the elven gods are actually the same. The numbers don't quite match up, um, but. The way Solus always overreacts about, like, like he is really upset when he hears about the plan the Wardens have to try to, like, preempt the, um, the Blights by going to kill the Archdemons slumbering underground, which is apparently where they are. But the Wardens were never able to reach, I think, where they thought one of the dragons was slumbering. But now, I mean, the Elven Gods were in the, I mean, they were in the Fade. So unless there'd be like a way to access them from under there, maybe they're not actually the same, but then why was Sola so upset about it, you know? Interesting. A couple theories floating around in my head. Uh-oh. He's using it now? Move! We need to get closer. We can't let him bolt. I mean, they're just doing this right in the daytime? Like... Um like not even subtle at all. Venatori don't need that relic. <laughs> You're here to stop me. You can't stop. I pressed the wrong button. This power. 
Impressive risen god. Can you even control it? Shut up! I am pressing the wrong button for what I'm trying to do. I mean, he's not allowed to fall, it looks like, but... And this part's mine. You'll die here, Benedictine. You'll die here, Benedictine. So I can't? <laughs> you won't be releasing anymore. Oh, that's funny. You're the smuggler. I know you. You're part of the threat crime syndicate. Smuggling, sure. But Red Lyrium. Working with Venatori. It's not your style. Not your style. Here they are. My son is no cultist. He was completely misled. I appreciate you. Oh, work. yeah, Let's corrupted go. Templars. Let's go. Nice try. The Venatori rise. Oh, that was just very obvious. Can we just. How about we just stab him? You know he's guilty. How much did it cost the Magister? Watch it, Gallus, or you'll be charged. With what? I tie something up and you undo it. Isn't this familiar? Save the sob story. We got the smuggler. Or do you want Bataris to release her too? I'll find a way to fix you this. You probably don't aren't very high up if you're a good Templar, you know what I mean? <sighs> Damn it. If we hadn't been there, how many people would be hurt? And Bataris doesn't care. No. But you do. <laughs> Isn't that the rub? So what now? We stopped the demons. We got the relic. And oh, the did smuggler. we get the relic? The shadows will watch the cult. If that leads to the gods, they'll send word. It's not perfect, but count your wins. You don't always get them, especially here. I, I think there's a thing over there. Oh, I think it's a potion. <sighs> well, at least they let us keep the relic, I guess. It wasn't a perfect ending, but Docktown was safe. From tonight's demons, anyway. Neb's past was coming back to haunt her. We keep doing... She just didn't know it This, yet. like, underground thing. Oh, no! That person has red eyes. Why can't I have red eyes? Or my Inquisitor. Ugh. I'm bitter. I'm bitter about this. Yep, yep, yep. I should see what Nev has to yes, say. Yes, we should see what Nev has to say. You're very right. Oh, level nine. How exciting. Let's see. I want to try to find that. Where is it for if you jump on someone? Oh! I found one. Shield toss bounces plus one. I don't know if that's the one where I'm, like, playing tennis. Or if that's like, the shield can actually bounce off of things. I can't find the one I was thinking of. But this would be a good ability to get, and I would like to get Deadly Ground. We need to utilize their abilities more. I've been focusing on mine, which I think is fine for the beginning of the game. Uh, you get a handle on your own abilities, and then you start working towards, uh... Working towards other things... Ooh, I get a ring. Weapon damage. Oh, and I got a rune? Interesting. Okay. I might as well, you know. That's what I've got. Shadow dragon. It's detective turned shadow. An old unsigned letter haphazardly filed with handwriting samples annotated by Neve. Neve Gala, slight slant in the penmanship, narrow loops. I know you know who I am. I know you're a few people and another I didn't know about. Check. I suspect you know who I work with. Smooth connectors, good ink, but can't fully hide the flourish. Expensive schooling. A time and place will follow. You'll know them when you see them. If you're interested, we could use someone like you. Is this where I bring the light? Interesting. Okay, so this is her, yeah, annotated by Neve. Um... And she's analyzing it, and it's the Shadow Dragon's invitation to her. Interesting. We do need to go talk to Neve. I guess it makes sense, you know, we don't get a companion from her. 
her own area because we already have her. Anything new? Anything substantial? In the old house? Is the caretaker here? Oh, okay. Oh, does everybody have something to say? I don't think, um, Harding does. Oh, but Bellara does. Bellara has a mission for us. Oh, Rook! Good to see you. Irulan and Strife sent word. Some of the artifacts we have in storage are acting up. They need a hand to make sure they stay calmed and don't rip a hole in reality. Anyways, we can go whenever you're ready. Why would I go? I don't know, she didn't give me like a reason, like really. And why can't they handle it? I mean, she could, they probably, they might need her help. I don't know what good I would do for it. Sorry, caretaker, I didn't get any bonuses for you this time. I have to feed my caretaker. How's it going? The Shadow Dragons have a hideout in Docktown. We should check in. So much in, to do. See if there's news on the Venatori. Already? They work fast. And with that relic case off their hands, they'll work even faster. Meet you in Docktown. Yeah. I mean, I thought we were going to talk about the one that just happened, but apparently not. We're going to move on to the next one. Very fast. Everything's moving fast. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> People have so many things for me to do. Why are you... Why Why do we have him in the pantry? He is a crow. Who... They're, even, like, the lowest of crows, like, they tend to have fancy accommodations because, like, the way Zevran explained it, they, had, they could have whatever they wanted. They just didn't really have their freedom, you know? Um... Because they were like, you know, the, the crows put a lot of money into buying them from slavery and then raising them up to be assassins. And so, but you could have like whatever you wanted, you know, men, women, gold, food, whatever. You just didn't get to leave whenever you wanted to. Uh, so I assume he's used to living the high life. And he looks like the kind of guy that's used to living the high life. And we have him living in the pantry. Like, I'm just... Uh, why? <laughs> Rook, Ilario sent word. He's got intel on Zara. He wants to meet up. Oh. Fancy a trip to Treviso? Treviso? Sounds like fun. Okay. Coffee with the crows? That's actually a funny title. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. This is, there's so much to do. It's a good thing we have, like, this is funny, because in Dragon Age Inquisition, there was, like, a running sort of a meme thing for a while that people were like, you know, they're like, oh, it takes, like, two years for the events of, of Inquisition and Trespasser to happen. They're like, but travel time alone. If I'm, like, bebopping around like a maniac, like, it took like, a month to travel to some of these places, you know? So it was really funny. Like, you had the fast travel, obviously, but, like, it's like, if you, like, somebody, like, did something really cool with, like, the map, and like extrapolated distances or something and like was like yeah it would take a freaking i'll see if i can find it It would take a really freaking long time to like travel anywhere across an entire continent right or like half a continent lower half of the continent so it's like it's just funny and it's like i wonder i that's probably not why they're doing it this way but it is funny to think they're like well now we've given you a magical reason why you could be bop around because you'd be like like the fallow mire and then you're like oh no i need to go like up to freaking, I don't know, the Empress, you know, to get some resources or something. And then you're like, oh, but I have to go to the Arbor Wilds really fast. You know what I mean? And so it was funny if you thought about it like that, like the way people generally play where they kind of just bop wherever they want instead of just being like, okay, I'm going to go into an area and finish it, which some people do that. One of my really good friends, she had over 500 hours in Inquisition on one save file because she would go into an area and completely finish it before she left, like as much as she could, right? Sometimes she had to go back. But like, she just did not think that, really, it never crossed her mind that she could just leave the area before finishing it. It was like one of, like one of her first like kind of video games. And like, it was just, it was really funny. And I was, I actually thought her game had glitched out when I came down to watch, to like watch her play Trespasser. Um, and it was like, she had like four saves on this one save file and it was like one hour, two hour, and then it was like 501, 502. And I was like, oh no, your game glitched out. Like your numbers are totally weird. And she was like, 
No, I just kept rewriting my save files, and those top two are like, that's the autosave and the regular one, and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I think I put like 150 hours into like a save, but like I could not imagine putting 500 into a save. It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm just gonna check, because this isn't glowing, I don't think, but I'm wondering if the lighting is weird. No? Okay. Well. If you want a more comfortable space, yeah. I'm sure there's empty rooms we haven't found she yet. She hasn't decorated. I'd rather be somewhere I can smell soil and plants. Familiar, you know? I mean... I do. You do. You don't. I really wish I'd asked her about the plants things because she's got a bunch of dead plants here. They're not growing, but she was like talking to them, so she obviously likes plants. And there's plants here, but they're dead. And everywhere else is just, like places have started to kind of like level up a bit. And Harding's is like still looking a little, a little crummy, you know. Now, I'm sure it'll tell me when I have to talk to Solus, but honestly, this is... I really love this. I'll definitely have to make one of those, you know, like, ambiance videos where you're just chilling and watching. I'd have to, like, I don't know, figure out a way to get my character so that she clips out of the screen. Oh, I did get, um, what did I get? I got that new appearance. I bought... Yeah. Okay. I do like that one. I do like these. These do look nice. This is the one I just got. Okay, it looks better now. Earlier, I think, or one of these was like, it was not rendering. This one, the, the full plate, it looks spray painted onto the metal. It looks like the metal isn't rendering. Leather and cloth seem to render fine, but metal, metal has a hard time, it looks like. Why can't I have the popped collar? Look at they have the popped collar in there. I want to have a popped collar. Feels weird to wear to winter clothes though when you're an elf or a canary, I would think, you know. It does look nice though. We'll keep it for a while. Oh. Oh my gosh, I just got a Mafarath's betray. Where did I get that? Oh, that's cool. What? When did I get this? Oh, this is a deluxe helm? Oh my gosh. Classic Dragon Age 2. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Okay, the Wardens have never had cool helmets ever. Poor guys. Mafarath's Betrayal. That's actually a sick helmet. Oh my gosh. I'm going to wear this one for a while. I think this is the rogue appearance of the deluxe el elven armor. And uh, this helmet is maybe a bit much. It probably goes better with the plate. But it still matches. And I want to wear it for a bit. Not a Bioware game that makes me actually want to wear helmets occasionally. Let's see if Varric has anything to say. Normally, my advice on befriending abominations would be don't. <laughs> In this case, just keep an eye on him. Andrews, he would. The thing is, is like you'd think here he'd bring up Anders, but of course we don't have world states, so Anders doesn't exist in this one. Uh, because you could kill Anders or keep him alive, and so he's... But you, you can still mention him, like, I had a friend once who was an abomination, and, uh, it did not go very well, because no matter what you do, Anders does blow up the charm tree, so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that is funny. Normally I'd say don't. Okay, so now I don't have any more missions to get new companions that I know of. But I do have companion quests already. Uh, I think I spoke with everyone. I hope it would tell me on the map if I hadn't. You know? I think we're good. 
Uh, I think I'll go ahead and call this one here. So, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut over now to say thank you to my patrons. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So, queue up two codex entries. There is Fenharel, the Dreadwolf. There is precious little we know about Fenharel, for they say he did not care for our people. Elgrin, mm, that's so tragic, knowing what we know now. Elgrin and our myth all created the world as we know it. Andrul taught us the ways of the hunter. Silas and June gave us fire and crafting. But Fenharel kept to himself and plotted the betrayal of all the gods. And after the destruction of Arlatham, when the gods could no longer hear our prayers, it is said that Fenharel spent centuries in a far corner of the earth, giggling madly and hugging himself in glee. That's the one, right? Where I'm like, I just was, I remember reading that and being like, oh, like, I had these, all these theories about, like, trickster deities, you know, about how interesting they are as characters generally. And, like, just, like, the, the lores that, the lore that happens within, like, any mythology that has a trickster figure in it, you know? Um... And, but now knowing this, it's like, I wonder if somebody did hear something and was like, oh, it must be Fenharel laughing. And if anything, it was Fenharel, you know, sobbing or something, you know, like drowning in sorrow and regret for everything that had happened, you know. The legends say that before the fall of Arlathan, the gods we know and revere fought an endless war with others of their kind. There is not a Haran, an elder, among us who remembers these others. Only in dreams do we hear the whispered names of Geldoran and Derenthal and Anaris, for they are the forgotten ones, the gods of terror and malice, spite and pestilence. In ancient times, only Fenarel could walk without fear among both our gods and the forgotten ones, for although he is kin to the gods of the people, the forgotten ones knew of his cunning ways and saw him as one of their own. <laughs> Who, not a, any of us are, who remembers the others, only in dreams do we hear the way. I'm like, so you still have their names. But Gelderon and Darenthal and Aeneris, did we have... Somebody had rejected the ways of Darenthal, I think, in one of our codex entries. Or in one of the notes that we picked up. Um... See, and my theory at this point was that these gods were actually, like, these, uh, the Forgotten Ones specifically were... Um, not bad guys, just painted as bad guys by the Evanuris because the Evanuris won, and that's what victors do, right? Um, but potentially they were all not great. And to be fair, though, I do get, the way Sola says it is the, the elven gods started out as, um, you know, revered mages and then turned into generals in a war, right? Um, so maybe, like, I think they probably had good on their side. Like, there's, like, there's that theory, right, where, like, maybe these Forgotten Ones weren't actually bad and blah, blah, blah. Or they were bad, and then uh, the Evianuris rose up as generals to fight them and then became kings and then emperors and then, you know, kings and queens, emperors, empresses, and then gods and goddesses. Eventually sealed away another group of people. Or are these Forgotten Ones something with a blight? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, who knows? I was like, Mabari! Ferelden culture. Ferelden's are a puzzle. As a people, they are one bad day away from reverting to barbarism. Is it, yeah, I was like, this is not Jenna TV. <laughs> uh, they, re they repelled invasions from Tevinter during the height of the Imperium with nothing but dogs in their own obstinate disposition. They are the coarse, willful, dirty, disorganized people who somehow gave rise to our prophet, ushered in an era of enlightenment, and toppled the greatest empire in history. There are a few things you can safely uh, assume in dealing with these people. First, they value loyalty above all things, beyond wealth, beyond power, beyond reason. Second, although they have nothing in their entire country which you are likely to think at all remarkable, they are extremely proud of their accomplishments. Third, if you insult the dogs, they are likely to declare war. And finally, the surest sign that you have underestimated the Ferelden's is that you think you have come to understand them. Empress Selene the First of Orlais, in a letter to her newly appointed ambassador to Denerim. It would be a terrible job for an Orlesian to be the ambassador of Ferelden. They really are. It's definitely, um... Very, not very slightly. The Rohirrim. Yeah. Gal. Why can't I? Why? I, they're my favorite. I love every time they come on the screen and when I'm watching the movies, I'm always like, wow! They also seem more like the ones that, like, you could be a warrior lady in, even though, you know, Eowyn, I think Eowyn, their names are very similar. The two made. Arwen is the elven woman. I was right. Eowyn. Eowyn and Arwen's the elven woman. To me, they sound very similar. Um, but Eowyn, 
you know, has her whole thing where she's not really allowed to be a warrior woman, but it's, to me, it's because she's, like, one of the, like, heirs, you know, um, and she is a, she was taught, right, like, she knows how to fight, but she wasn't allowed to go to battle, um, and just, like, her plight, that's a whole other thing, her plight of, like, being the one trapped in your own home, because, like, you have to care for somebody when all you desire is to go out and, like, gain battle fame, like, I don't know, I get really resonated with me, like, she's my favorite character, and the little bit you get with her and in the movies is so good, oh, I love it so much, like, a poetic, soft-hearted man who's kind and wise and intelligent and, like, a cold, scarred beauty, you know, who wants nothing more than to be free, but is constantly bound by these, like, obligations that she feels are herself, and all she wants is, like, battle and glory, you know, and but it has to be like restrained and like I don't know he's like a sunshine and she's like the shadow and it was so good it was such a good but anyway that's totally anyway Ferelden and Ole are kind of like that sort of except there's not like a ton of animosity as far as I know between the Rohirrim and Gondor um they're actually supposed to be buddies um but yeah anyway Ferelden's a bit a grungy you go to Denerim and you're like this is a city <laughs> you know what I mean all right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.